But I'm not saying that Sabahans are good, but I think Sabahans are better storytellers than me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they are genuinely honest about what they say. And this difference, I'm sorry this question. So. I'm not saying that you are not good, you are, but in your own little way. Well, we do ours in our own little way, which is, I think, more genuine. Well, it is. It does reflect who we are, Sabahans. I'm very lucky, in all who was in Sabah, very lucky that we are born in Sabah. I keep on telling the rest of the relations, so other friends all over the world are the best relations to live in Sabah. And we are really the best relations. And I hope Kupi Kupi FM will be in the forefront to, to, to tell the rest of the, uh, the countries that, hey, look, learn from Sabah. I mean, Again, sorry to say, but in Sabah, nobody asks these two silly questions, which I know all of you in West Malaysia are fond of asking. What is your race? What is your religion? We don't ask that silly questions in Sabah. For a simple reason is that we are, we are, all, the, we are all the son and uh, daughter of Adam, who are able to tell the world, to tell God that we are different. We are not. We just have different, probably different upbringing, a different faith, but at the end of the day, I think we all pray to the same God. And this exactly is, I believe, the core message that needs to be given out to the rest of the country. It's very, very, very important. God endowed our country with the best of everything. Beautiful country. Good people. And in the case of Sabah, I, I I said, every day when I wake up, I always feel very much blessed because the best of nature are in Sabah. Amen. Just you, Karo, you. By the way, <coughs> I'm glad uh, that the three ladies, as uh, Miss Foy was saying or were telling us, were in and out of Sabah. Well, I think that's a sign of appreciating help. Because the cleanest day in Malaysia is in Sabah, actually. Yeah. Just, to, just to remind you. <laughs> and here we are. And if you can, if I want to summarize why would I, what I would expect of Kupi 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 one, I think we should be telling the rest of Russians how and why tolerance is the key to the future of Malaysia. Let's stop, let's stop being judgmental. The problem with us is we say every day when we pray, we say God is great. But we still want to pray God. That's the, that's the irony of the whole thing. We say God is great. But at the same time, you are disputing your own self mind by trying to, be, to pray God. I think we should do one. So teach the spirit of tolerance. Two, I believe at the end of the day, whether you are in the government or you are in the positions, the fact of the matter is that the interest of the country comes number one. And there is no compromise to it. And we should speak good for our country. Yes, there are weaknesses. And that's the reason why God gives us a good brand to find out how to correct that weaknesses. See, sometimes I feel sad, reading the papers, people are talking bad about their own country. If you are talking bad about the leaders, I think I can understand that's politics. But once you speak bad about, bad about your country, that entirely a different thing of the day. You are born here, this morning, and hopefully you are going to die in this country of ours. There is no other country that we know except Malaysia. I think all of us aspire to work very hard to ensure that what people's regulations and challenges that are facing us, I think at the end of the day, nothing is, nothing is like Malaysia. And in the case of Sabah, that's what we are trying to do. Sorry to be a bit uh, regionalistic, yeah? but Sabah has no Sabah. And we don't see political differences as a reason for us to be apart. We can still, and I honestly, I want to tell you, 
I have fought three elections, and we can still meet. I mean, we go around the, the, I happen to represent the town of Rano. And when we meet each other in the campaign, I mean, I'm with the uh, opposition candidate, you can still go into a coffee shop and have cookie cookie. No problem with us. But I don't see that happening in Western Asia, unfortunately. And I think we need to mold the thinking, the mentality of future relations, young relations. That you can be enemy in politics, but you should be friends as relations. That's what Sabahans are really doing. Three. I think we also need to, to use this communication to, to, I would say, convince Sabahans that actually there's nothing wrong with us. No, sometimes I feel sad because some Sabahans think that they're inferior. We are not. If we are, inf if we are inferior, I won't be in front of you talking, not in front of you today. Trust me. What others can do, we can do as much, I mean, probably even better. So we need to inspire young people. At the end of the day, if we want Sabah to move forward, it should be to make perhaps a bit of a mental overhaul. That we will see ourselves and our role in nation building in Sabah. See, we keep on complaining, complaining about not having a job. Sorry to say, yeah? I'm a good follower of all this uh, media, what have you. Yeah. Just last night, I was uh, reading a posting in the book, uh, Facebook, saying that, look at this economy, sir.